Welcome to the Katie Green Room, doing something a little new today. I tweeted out asking everyone if they wanted to ask Lolo Jones, today's guest, some advice. And I found one really awesome fan in Gainesville, Florida, Brittany Perez. So I said, why doesn't Brittany just Skype in and ask Lolo the questions herself? So here she is. And I just, um, Halloween's coming up, and Brittany is dressing as Lolo for Halloween. Oh, that's awesome. How awesome is that? Brittany, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. All right. So, Brittany, I'll let, um, I'll let you start us off. All right. So, um, I guess nice to virtually meet you. Is that when I... Yeah. Nice to meet you, too. Nice. <laughs> I want to show you my shirt. It said beat LSU. Yeah, you guys <laughs> beat... No, I don't like that shirt at all. No. I saw the little gator in uh, the background. I'm, I'm still sore about our loss to you guys. So, this <laughs> conversation might end sooner than later. <laughs> Sorry about that. Play nice. Play nice, girl. Yeah, be nice. <laughs> You won, though. Fair score, you won. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, my name's Brittany, go to US in Gainesville, and I'm second year sophomore, uh, public relations major. Nice. So, I heard about your new program, Hurdles of Hope. Can tell us a little bit more about what it is? Well, um, it's helping kids with moms or dads uh, that have that are incarcerated. Um, a lot of people know that my dad was in a jail during my childhood, and so we relied a lot on you know Christmas gifts being donated, and just like if I needed sneakers, they were given to us. So like a lot of support from the community, and so that's going to help kids with those various needs, and just try to make sure that they have like you know they don't feel ashamed, lonely or just kind of bitter about their situation and that we can be some kind of help or light during this time for them. That's pretty cool because I can sort of relate. Um, my parents, they're both born in Cuba. So I guess I'm like first generation going to university. So they, you know, they struggled when they were younger. Their parents didn't know the language barrier. So Definitely. it's cool that you broke the cycle and yeah, created the whole foundation. Yeah, and hopefully um, I can help somebody out there, a kid who's struggling. So that would be the main goal. Definitely. And on the subject of hurdling, um, I know you mentioned you work out like four to six hours a day, like six days a week, 12, past 12 years. And I work out like barely two hours a day. <laughs> and I just want to know, how do you get through your workouts? Like what's your motivation to get through the long, strenuous workouts? Uh, they're tough because every day kind of varies. Um, a lot of times I'm thinking about the overall goal. Uh, what am I trying to accomplish uh, with this? Um, obviously, Olympic medal, world championship medals. But also, just on the daily day struggle is just uh, trying to focus on just getting through the workout. Because sometimes if you think about the big goal, it can overwhelm you. So if you're like, I just need to get through this workout. I need to just just focus all my energies and just finishing this and finishing it with my best uh, efforts. If you do that every day, the bigger goal kind of comes together naturally. So. Does it ever get repetitive, would you say? Would it, does it ever get what? Repetitive, just working out. Hopefully. Oh, come on, I'm running in circles and straightaways. <laughs> it definitely gets repetitive, but you have to like, um, there's a couple of different ways you can kind of inspire yourself, either by shifting your goals or by um, making smaller goals or simple things like changing your playlist on your music or even going out and buying a new outfit. Those little things or bigger things can always inspire you. So, But at the end of the day, track in running is very competitive and you can either compete with somebody running next to you or you can, you can also compete with yourself. And that's what I love about it because that never gets repetitive. You know, you're always trying to break your barriers and what people say you can't do. That's what makes running just an awesome sport. And on the note of running the Olympics, um, I just want to let you know I woke up at 4.30 in the morning <laughs> over here to get watch you compete online. Oh, no <laughs> way. I, that's awesome. That's amazing. I, I mean, I didn't even watch, wake up to watch my own competitors <laughs> or my own teammates. I was like, oh, I'll catch it on the rerun. So it's fans like you that we love. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so I know faith is a big part of your life, as also as mine. Um, and I, like I said, I'm a sophomore at University of Florida. You know, you get the typical people, like the college party life. Um, how did you handle, back when you were in college, like friends, or just people in general, with such differing values? As, as um, well, that's tough. I mean, you don't want to impose, um, like, too much where like it causes like animosity but at the same time you don't want to waver in your beliefs 
So you just have to be strong and uh, just be a true friend and, and to do onto others as you would want them. You know, like treat others how you would want to be treated. And that's at the end of the day what I, I do. I mean, I feel like my faith comes out naturally and um, people see my struggles. They, they've seen me overcome certain obstacles or hurdles in my life. And they'll naturally want to know, like, how did I overcome that? And what, what did I use as inspiration to overcome that? And so I don't have to like go around like beating people up the head, like with my beliefs, but at the same time, like if you just kind of work towards your goals and you know continue to have success that people will want to know like well how how did you get through that rough time in your life so that's what I found to like kind of share my faith and how it's helped me out awesome and yeah I'm on the same boat <laughs> I had a roommate last year we were a little bit different but Roommates, are, roommates are tough. Roommates are tough. I have roommates at the Olympic Village, and I'm 30 years old. And I'm like, how do I adjust to this? This is crazy. I thought I was done with the roommates after the whole college scene. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm used to going to bed pretty early. Not really having people come in at three o'clock in the morning throwing up into a bucket, but. <laughs> uh, you gotta get some headphones. You get your little eye mask. So, uh, and then maybe request a new roommate now. <laughs> <laughs> My roommates now, they're awesome. They're good. All right, cool. But, so I know you posted some pictures about bobsledding. So yeah, so I'm yeah, I'm like on. To see you in the Winter Olympics, or uh, we're you know I'm, I'm right now I'm hanging out at the the Olympic Training Center in Lake Placid and definitely training with the bobsledders. And um, what's awesome about them is they're just super strong, tough girls. And I felt after the Summer Olympics. I just needed a change of scenery. I needed to just get refreshed and um, rejuvenated and like, you know, maybe get away from the running scene, but at the same time, I'm still running, but now I'm pushing a 400 pound sled. So uh, the training is kind of parallel. There's very, uh, there's things that I can like learn from it and get stronger that will actually transfer and help me in track. So, um, I, you know, after, you know, 12 years of running, I thought that this was just like the jump start I needed just to, to get more inspiration to carry me through for a Rio, so it's been fun. It's interesting. These girls are just super beast mode, so that doesn't sound like a no. <laughs> oh, it's definitely not a no. It's not. It's not a no for sure. It's not a no. But I'm definitely just enjoying my time out there. I'm get. I'm having a lot of fun, and um, just went down the bobsled the other day for the first time, and literally, it might have been a no because like I was so scared. I was like, make it in. One girl started crying afterwards. Another started hyperventilating. It was crazy, but it's uh, every now and then you got to shake things up. And like you were asking for motivation, I felt after London, the motivation might dip a little bit just because I was coming off of the Olympics. I fell once again so short to my goal. So I was like, well, what can I do to get re-inspired and re-rejuvenated? Uh, and going out here to this new environment with these girls and these Winter Olympics, Olympians with their Olympics just two years out, I mean, it's definitely helped. Like, oh, your roommate's back. I don't <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I delete for a second. Just, it's too much for me. <laughs> so, so, yeah. I'm sure the weather change. Um, you know, I know. With your son. I know. I'm coming from Louisiana to like, it was like the coldest city in the, the U.S. the other day. And so it's funny because I didn't even have, like, I couldn't even buy gloves in Louisiana because there's no point to have gloves in Louisiana. And so I came out there like, you don't have gloves. I'm like, I live in Louisiana. There's no, I mean, that'd be like you trying to go find mittens and stuff right now. It'd be kind of <laughs> hard. So, <laughs> so yes, uh, I have gloves now though. So. Well, Brittany, thank you so, yes, so much Brittany, for you're coming awesome. on. This and, is so um, much fun. Definitely, doing, so I recognize you from Twitter, and I hope you have a great Halloween. I probably should send you some stuff to make your, your Halloween outfit more legit. <laughs> you don't have to do that. <laughs> but thank now you, you might have to change it up and put, like, a bobsled helmet on. LSU, <laughs> to stop that. You stop that. We're, be, we're being <laughs> nice here. You stop that. Okay, LSU. All right, I, I'm going to have to break this up. I'm going to have to break this thank up. Thank you for doing this. God bless. God bless you, too. <laughs> Bye, Brittany. Thanks, Lolo. <laughs> thank you very much. Bye.